Hi, I'm Ms. Roy. I'm Ms. Jen. And we're here today to teach you the basics of Chinese brush painting, and we'll be painting bamboo. Roy 老师和简老师今天要教大家画国画里的竹子. Now we're going to introduce you to the materials that we'll be using for this lesson. We'll be using brushes, and these are calligraphy or Chinese painting brushes, paper, ink, an ink stone, or you could be using liquid ink, uh, which is convenient and more widely available. These are known as the four treasures. 要画国画或者是书法的时候呢，通常我们会用到的工具称为文房四宝。文房四宝呢是笔、毛笔、墨、纸和砚台。为了方便，你也可以用现成的墨汁，这是一样统称为文房四宝。Here you can see a student setup for brush painting. I have student quality brushes and paper towel. I have paper for students to work on. I have a palette to make grayscales, ink, two cups of water, an ink stone, and ink. And I've had the student work on top of several layers of newspaper or some sort of scrap paper. It helps with cleanup, but more importantly, it prevents work from bleeding when it hits the table surface below. Today,这个学生画国画的台面上呢,你看到的就是毛笔,还有一些使用的纸张,帮助你可以做清洁,还有下面呢,我们铺了很多的报纸, 挤成的报纸呢,第一,清理容易,第二呢,就是水分呢,不会渗透。再来有个调色盘,调色盘呢,可以让你有不同的浓淡度上面的这个调色,加上砚台,还有两个两桶水,那一桶水呢,可以清
Well, many times. How many times do you have the students grind in your classroom? Oh, I typically have students do it for 300 times uh, before we check the consistency. And you also need to pay attention to the water because without the liquid, uh, the thickness of the end wouldn't come together very nicely. So you need a lot of time in order to have your students do this in the classroom. But it is a nice experience because the practice itself is very meditative and it harkens back to the scholar of China grinding the ink in his study before he does a painting or calligraphy. Um, although I will say that any of the adult professional artists that I've spoken to that do brush painting or calligraphy, um, none of them seem to use this technique in the studio anymore. So I think it really is to sort of bring you back to this historical uh, experience, but is maybe not very current. Uh, 是墨做的但是事实上呢通常是石头做的这个墨呢用来把它弄成这个黑色的色泽那么我们看到砚台里面呢有这个储水的部分跟这个平面的部分我们请学生呢通常慢慢的沾水以后呢在平面的台面上开